question 11. So 3x squared equals 147. Now um, this is 3 times x times x. So um, how do we undo the times in by 3? Well we choose to divide both sides by 3. So x squared equals 147 divided by 3 which is 49. How do we undo a squaring? Well we square root 49. And now be careful, the square root of 49, well yes it's 7, because 7 times 7 is 49, but just be careful, minus 7 times minus 7 is also 49. So the square root of 49 is both 7 and minus 7, and you had to give both to get both marks. Now in this negative index, remember, if you've got a negative, you're going to have to flip it over. So we really need to turn this 2 into a fraction in order to be able to flip it over. So consider 2 as just being 2 over 1, all to, be, all to the power of minus 3. We can now flip it over, so the 1 goes to the top, the 2 goes to the bottom. So that sorts out the minus. So, so at this point we've got 1 over 2 to the power of 3. Uh, so we cube the top number, cube the bottom number. 1 cubed is 1 times 1 times 1, which is 1. 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. Um, bear in mind, this is a calculator paper, so I'm really explaining how you would do it on a non-calculator paper. In the actual exam itself, just pop that into your calculator. Job done. Right, part C. So uh, the, th the bracket is being cubed. So everything in the bracket times everything in the bracket times everything in the bracket. So I suggest you just write that down as your first line of working. Now this is just a whole bunch of stuff being multiplied together so we can think of the three threes being at the front. 3 times 3 times 3 times x squared times x squared times x squared. Well 3 threes are 9, 9 threes are 27. And remember the index rules, when you're multiplying you add the powers. 2 add 2 add 2 is 6. 27x to the 6. Now part D, make P the subject of this formula. Now remember what that means, you need to end up not with it being W equaling stuff, but P equals stuff. So we need to make decisions to make um, P be on its own, P equals something. So um, work your way towards the 4P bit, so start off with this term. How do we undo a minus 16? We choose to add 16 to both sides. So W add 16 equals 4P. How do we undo a timesing by 4? Well we choose to divide by 4. Now in order to make the point that it's the whole of the left hand side to be divided by 4, best to do this by way of a fraction. So make it w plus 16 all over 4. That um, means we don't need to worry about using brackets to make the point, just, to just give your answer as a fraction. So p equals w plus 16 all over 4.